Let's turn that down. So, y'all, welcome to the new video now. Y'all already know this video wouldn't be right if we had to go get gas, man. We got to go get gas right here at the E85 pump, man. It's like, no, I'm going to let y'all know in this video. This video right here, I'm going to let y'all know what is done to my car. Now, I made the video uh, months ago. I'm going to put it on the screen. And your boy's kind of capped because I was in the race scene. I was racing people that was in my league. And, everything like that so now that i am done racing now that this car is probably gonna be sold i want to get a new car before the winter ends or like the beginning of next summer so now i gotta let y'all know what was really done to five seven because y'all a lot of y'all were saying you ain't stuck you ain't stuck but well, man i wasn't i'm sorry for lying to y'all look at the gas the gas is terrible man this god damn dog look at that all right i hear you i hear you man i hear you man i hear you man so right now we're about to get gas. We might go get a car wash. I know we're going to the car wash. I'm gonna see if I want to wash it. Cause it is cold as hell outside, man. So we about to go ahead and pump this gas real quick. We see how we're Oh my god. So once again, every freaking video. Come on, is you gonna click or not, man? So I've been just getting so tired of. People asking me what's done. So I'm just gonna tell y'all, y'all want, oh, oh shit, we gotta, but I've been so tired of people telling me and asking me, I'm I'm like, bro, it stopped. But y'all know if you're really a racer that you don't tell your secrets, you don't tell nothing done to us. So man, I'm, I'm ready to finally come forward and, and tell y'all how the fastest eBay, you know what I'm saying? Look at that, look at that little Emmy. You can get his ass walked though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but. I'm gonna uh, finish pumping this gas, man. We a CR. We get to our little destination, man. God damn. And if you want to know how much I'm paying for gas, shit, fuck. Oh, so cold, man. Heat on. Come on, man. You just gonna still up? Hey, God damn. Just, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna put a certain much. I'm gonna put, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I'm gonna put in there, we gonna do what it do. So man, let's, let's y'all. So y'all know the infamous car wash. 300 right here, like last video. Y'all seen me and T go to my boy Packer Punch house to put the eyelids on. So ain't nothing changed. This car has really been sitting since that last video. I really don't drive it, man. And I don't know, man. I'm just so ready for a new car. And I feel like I've outgrown this car, so. Be on the lookout for that. Like I said, hopefully before the winter's over, I got a new car. It's not going to be a 5.7 unless it's under one condition. But I ain't even trying to spoil that for y'all. That's going to be another video. But man, we're going to get to this video, right? Do I wash the car? Is this going to sit? Like, do I wash it for the video or, or what? Man, I'm so undecided. It's so cold out here. Just look at the weather, y'all. Look at this. 40 degrees. So y'all, as y'all been waiting for, man, this is the Chrysler 300 2007. If you don't know me, I'm eBay, man. This is my little project build car. I had this car since like June 11, 2020. I'm, I'm, I'm tripping y'all, but man, uh, this is it, y'all. So a lot of y'all don't know. Like, I'ma just give y'all a rundown of like all the mods. So the inside that y'all know about. So I did the Chrome delete new wheels i had the 300 like stock rims on there so i did what are you looking for <laughs> so i did i put the stars in there stars i changed the rims i got two 75s on the back 245 in the front of space because it, it rubs if you got a 57 so you can just go ahead and interrupt my video that's t baby people y'all so t are you watching this get your people under control man because I, I walk the ss's daily anyway it's a whole new topic man so anyways uh i changed the headlights changed the grill put mirror caps on there uh what else did i do <laughs> wow so man i ended up putting a srt spoiler which is i don't know it, it has its days it's, it's messing up man so i put that on there uh we can build youtube stickers the car came with big uh, exhaust tips inside the trunk. I put those in there. And uh, that's pretty much about it. All my work has really been done by this guy right there, right there on the screen. Pack a punch performance. Uh, put the gas, lid, whatever the hell that is, black. Besides that, that's pretty much 
pretty much it, man. So now that I have explained my car build to y'all, man, I haven't, I ain't gonna say lying, but I have been not telling the truth for so long because this is so much competition and like, man, this car has had a lot of work done. I guess a lot of work, but the work it has done too has been on there for a while, y'all. So, uh, we're about to get into this video, man. So, the first thing first that, uh, was done to this car. Oh my God, I am so scared to tell y'all because I would never think I'd be telling y'all what's done. So, uh, first thing first, the cold air intake. I believe it's a K and then cold air intake. Uh, yeah, so let's just pop the hood. So I can show you all real quick the can in. Uh, so the can in coat air intake. Oh my God, I'm really about to tell y'all what it's done, bro. Ain't no more going in there, God damn. Oh my God. So man, here it is. Don't, don't cry about the engine, but the engine is crazy. That's dirty too. We need to get that washed up. So first thing first, Cold air intake, man. So what you gonna make the motor a little cooler and make the motor run better because it's gonna suck in more air, especially if you're trying to race the car. That's gonna be the first thing I got done. The second thing I got done is that 180 degree thermostat, man, and uh, it helps keep the car cooler. It don't make the car fast, but the lower your car runs, especially if you're gonna beat on it, race it and dog and slide it, whatever you wanna do, make sure the temperatures are low as freaking possible. You, you, you don't want to have a car overheating on you. So that, that's just for one. So, so, I, have, so I have told you I got a, a K and N air filter, man. Uh, uh, 180 degree thermostat. <sighs> man, I, I got two more major things to tell y'all what it's done to the car, man. I, I don't really want to say it, but man, it's got to get done. It's got to get said. I already started the video. Man, look. <sighs> I'm gonna just let y'all see this first thing first. If you, like I said, don't care about the engine, engine bay, man. So if you see something, you a car guy, all right, you should know. But right here, right here, right here, we have a 85 millimeter VVK throttle body. My motor is, is toast. It, it runs like a champ, I promise you. I just gotta get it cleaned up. But VVK aftermarket throttle body. Now I have another piece that's gonna be, maybe in the next video, I gotta get it from my boy SRT Mont. That's gonna help this a lot, man. So we're gonna be gonna keep adding on to the car a little bit by a little bit. So this is gonna make <laughs> this suck in uh, so much more air. So if you get this air intake with a big enough tube right here and get that, your car gonna suck in so much. Now the plans I have for this car was gonna get header. So so you know when the, when the car sucked the the air in, you gotta better push it out. It's sucking in. My art camera just said my, my damn memory car was full, but the next thing I was gonna do was get headers. I was gonna go by like JBA, or uh, it's just not the good brand out here, man. I heard of, so I was gonna get some headers for the car. Then I was gonna have to tell y'all, cause it was gonna be extremely loud. The car already has no cats, uh, nothing. It, it got, uh, I, I believe it got cherry bombs. The car came like that. I just decided not to take it off because I didn't want to do it at the time. But man, if I ever go back to the shop, I'll probably take it off. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm probably not gonna take it off. It's probably just gonna just be how the car is until the car is gone. The next owner can do what they want to do with it. Hopefully, it's one of y'all. So when I get ready to sell this car, man, hopefully one of y'all buys so we can still stick around, and do videos, and I see the car and and it's that. Y'all already know that. But man, so I got the VVK thought about it, man. A lot of my last video. A lot of y'all seen it, but I wasn't even trying to hide it. I was so over the point of trying to hide it. I was just gonna show y'all, man, but. So, I, I forgot to tell y'all. So, for the air intake, I paid about 240 or 210, somewhere around there. For the throttle body, I paid uh, 46 to 500 dollars. So, that's that. Now, man, the intake gets you about 10 to 12 horsepower. So, stock, it come 340. So, I picture like 352. The uh, throttle body, I think like 15 horsepower, so you at like 360 something, boom. So, so like I said, once you get that, you almost like three, three, you know, you low key almost like damn near 370. So you're gonna be borderline 370, man. Then you take it up a notch, you take it up a notch, 
and do what I did next. Now, man, if y'all don't know, what would be the best thing to add next to this build, man? Honestly, man, what y'all think in the comments? But I'm going to let y'all know. I was going to see what y'all wanted to say. But now I'm going to let y'all know what the next thing I had did. Next thing I did, I got the car Diablo tune. I had the tune on there maybe for about uh maybe six or seven i don't know maybe a year i forgot it had a diablo tune for the year so as i got a uh, diablo tune drove that literally like i had got the car and like a month later it felt slow but i got it in my first v8 as me owning the car felt fast i got used to it like within a month got the car uh intake and it basically diablo 293 tune so I was like, man, I got to get faster. So maybe three, four months ago, I had got me a custom tune I paid for. I think I paid him about four or 500 for a custom tune. He works on these five, seven, six ones, SRT8, Hellcats. He work on a lot of cars. He's got a lot of stuff he does, man, for the Mopar community. I ain't going to tell y'all who my tuner is. He is not in Michigan. He is not in the state. So, but man, I, I got to keep that on the low. But me and the guys, me and my day ones, like my uh i don't know if y'all know who jay is but me martin j and t know who tuned my car so that, that's about good as you're gonna get that's our little mopar tune ain't nobody else gonna ever know about that but i believe i got the tuner in the car i'm gonna just give y'all a quick little look all right now ladies and gents y'all always ask me what was that cord hanging from there so now i'm gonna let y'all i'm gonna let y'all know man this is Woo! Diablo with the screen on there, man. I believe this is a, a Trinity a T2 or something like that. So, I had got this, man. I paid about 200 man. About 200 bucks for this. And then once I bought this, man, it came with, with the screen. And no, this is a third party. I got it from a friend. So, I had bought this. Then they came with the 93 tune already on there. Boom, I was good to go. But, yeah, like I said, that I rolled the, the, the stock uh diablo tune they made for this car bro for that minute i was racing uh 300s like this i was racing chargers i was racing a lot of stuff man then so i ain't gonna lie when i was telling y'all i was stock i was more than likely tuned and had all this done so i haven't raced nobody when i got my new tune so the custom tune has just been on this car I haven't raced nobody with it, so I don't even know. I can't even feel the power difference, really, bro, because the car's been tuned. I don't even know how the car feels stock anymore, because I don't take the tune off. I don't go to stock or nothing like that. So the way I got the car set up now, and if I go to stock, it's going to feel like a turd. Man, y'all have literally been bugging me about the car. So this is what I have done to the car. I don't have nothing else done. So it's damn near full bolt on. Chrysler 2007. 300 man damn near full bolt on man I'm, 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 I'm gonna say that you know cause that's how i feel like it damn near is i ain't lying it just don't got headers on the car so that's the, like the only thing i miss so will i put headers on the car honestly man i don't, I don't even know I, I was thinking about it man but once i bought a part and then by labor you know i was looking at over a thousand so unless y'all got a good shop i can go to that y'all plugged in that but if y'all asking who installed that right there, that boy T Baby put that on. T Baby has helped me a lot with my car too, man. Anytime like something that's small going wrong that I can do, what he can do, like in the back of a garage, mechanically, me and him always do it together. So big shout out to my boy T. Because hey, hey, you he done helped me a lot, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We done been frustrated a couple times. But yeah, like I said, that's about it, man. I, I guess I am going to wash the car just to get a little bit more footage for y'all. Because... <sighs> so I know I should have did this like early in the video, but man, my heart goes out to everybody that has been uh, shot and, and killed. I'm sorry to even say that word, them two words, because it is so devastating. But if y'all don't know me, I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and I, uh, I've been in Michigan my whole life. I am now 21, and... I was on my phone yesterday and I, I seen it, it was a mishap happening in the school. I don't really want to speak on too much for YouTube, but if uh, if you just look up Oxford High, uh, I think like Oxford High was the school name or Oxford, Michigan, man, and just type in school, y'all will see what I'm talking about, but my heart goes out to them kids and everybody had to been in that traumatized situation because 
man, I, uh, it, it's just very sad what goes on and you can't go to school peacefully. You get what I'm saying? That's just one thing that shouldn't be disturbed with no ifs, ands, and buts, man. But my heart goes out to them families and uh, anybody that was affected by that. Because I, I know I, I was driven around yesterday. I couldn't look at it until I got home and I really seen what was going on. And it, it just breaks my heart, honestly, man. So my heart goes out to y'all, man. But anyways, we're going to go watch the car record. Side debate, man. We're going to go ahead, close the hood. <sighs> Bye bye. Man, I really told you what was done in the five seven. It's cool though. And there's no way my battery just died. Hold on. Oh my god. So I guess between doing the video and having my damn light tone, the battery just died, but man, I don't know what the hell. I didn't have them lights on. But gang, I done had my, my lights on for longer than that, man. The car already did some weird stuff earlier. And I was not knowing what was going on with somebody calling me, y'all. I need a damn jump. Yo. Guess what just happened? Hold, hold on, you said what? Yeah. It's dead, it died. <laughs> All right, y'all, so what it's doing is just spinning over a little bit. I went to tighten up my battery and see if the battery can't lose. See if it starts not. Nope. Oh, my God, bro. Nope. So, y'all, if y'all don't got me on Instagram, your Instagram, eBay shot it, man. So, I am live right now. I had to tell them, damn, eBay stay Kevin. Bro, it's over with, bro. It's dead, bro. It died on me, man. All right, y'all. So, as y'all can see, I'm still here. The car is still dead, man. I, <clears throat> so I thought the battery pins was, like, uh, loosened up. It was kind of loose, but that's not the reason why it won't start. Because I just loose, I just tightened it back up, man. It's still not starting. So, my boy, Jay, <sighs> is, is coming to save the freaking day, man. I got roadside assistance. But I feel like Jay will be here faster. And hopefully, it's just that. Cause I don't see the car's been sitting last time I drove it was fine and when I started earlier it stuttered and uh so I'm, I'm guessing like that's what's wrong the battery just died I left the lights on but I leave the lights on mostly all the time in the video and it don't die so I guess the the damn battery's already low as hell so what can you do with weight and it's four degrees the boy coast I hope my boy get my boy Jay get here kind of quick man so you gonna come say today and uh. I don't know. I guess we're just going to wait, man. So, the crazy thing is I have a whole battery tender in the car, but, man, I don't got nowhere to plug it up at. It's a little plug-in thing like right there. It's a little car wash spot right there, but I doubt that even work, man. And I just, so, it just it is what it is. So, I'm so I'm guessing we got to just wait a second and, and wait and wait to help get here, man. And I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm out here trying to make this video. Look what happened. Mid video. Y'all seen me mid video. The car just cut off on me, man. And I don't know, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess we're going to wait and see, man. I think my camera finna die, too, so it's not a good, good day. I just picked the camera up and just started recording for the day. I didn't prep it yesterday, and, and we started recording. I mean, I didn't prep it yesterday and just uh, change the battery or charge the battery i ain't doing none of that so we, we on the fly but man we gonna stay in the car stay cool and wait till my boy pull up and hopefully we can get the video finished man and still rolling so we see y'all in a minute all right so y'all the security guard at, the, at this car wall said he might be able to help it's in the it's in the back we're gonna get to y'all in one second we're gonna see y'all all right y'all so like i was just saying man uh the guy he, he over there security guy he Coming over here, man, he had the jump box. The jump box weren't working. So, man, uh, he finna bring his truck over. He said the truck battery is bad, so I'm praying to God I don't mess up his battery or in my car start, man. So, God, look out for me one time. So, yeah, because we're gonna just see y'all. He about to pull over here and everything like that. All right, y'all, so right now we got the battery charging. So, man, this is this random guy at the car wash and I asked him, he, so he helped me, man, so. That's why it's good to have good people out in the world. Hopefully, you can just do this. I finish the video and everything is good, and the car start up. If the car don't start up, man, I have to get home because I'm not gonna know what else, man. So, so y'all, it's been about 
five minutes. Pray to God. Oh my God. There we freaking go. All right, man. As y'all just seen, the car is back alive, man. And I, I, I'm happy now. So it's this guy that was so at the car wash. Size? Alright, yeah, my, my, my boy Size hooked me up, man. <laughs> so y'all know I was at the car wash. He was parked over there. And he came to help me. You know what the crazy thing is? I got a battery tender. I just don't got nowhere to plug it up. It's a big ass battery tender in the back. So, <laughs> thank you All so right, much, man. Good. I appreciate it so much. But now let's let's get the hell up out of here, man. Me and video this happened. Hey, it, it, I feel so good. I had good people wrong. If you want to see the video, it's going to be up on this name right here. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Oh, yeah. So maybe it'll be up tomorrow, maybe like 6 o'clock. All right, because I work at night, so I'm up. All right, man. <laughs> Big shout out to him, man. Help me out. That's, that's, thank All you, right. man. Thank All you. right, man. All right, y'all. So that I just remembered was that I was going to get a freaking car wash, but this car has put me through this today. You don't deserve no car wash, so we're going to be on the way home. It's gonna stay there, we're gonna finish the video off at home, but just your boy thankful, man. Problems go wrong with, with the five seven, but man, we you see what you see what I'm listening to right there. Y'all gotta go play that right there. That's some fire, but man, right now we on the way home. We're gonna finish this video when I get home in the, in the driveway where it's safe, man, cause this shit is it's not right, bro. I wanna give y'all a little pull, but Man, we, we gonna get on. You ain't gonna let me over, bro? God damn. See, in that damn Prius, Hyper. Hyper, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. Right. Oh my God, man. Y'all seen the last videos. Uh, well, the last part of the video, right before I clicked it on, y'all seen the 300 broke down on me. It's crazy, cause I, I had took the other little shooter I be driving in. And the damn battery died in that too in the same week. I'm like, what the hell is going on? It's like, no, but right now, man, it's a brand new day. I am not in the 300. The 300 has, has has pissed me off, you know what I'm saying, for a little while. So I'm back in my little shooter, shooter maneuver, high maneuver, high whip the Coopers and up, uh, uh, dooters. <laughs> but no, anyways, right now we're on my way to Yoshi Abachi. Now, it, it's a, if you know like Benny Hannes is, and, um, uh, I can't believe it's like fried rice with like chicken steak or shrimp or like it's like I don't know like if you know what like Benny Hanna's is and fried rice what that is stuff like that man it, it's 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 cool y'all didn't probably seen the video I did before where I like gave him a shout out so right now I'm on the way up there finna get some food from my boy Judas his family restaurant man you gotta try it man they got a couple locations like on Fingo. all right so we going it's right there it's on Kelly and Harper man right there on Kelly and Harper right here at the corner man they got they got side parking right here so you gonna see it right there so yeah like right there on the screen like y'all see that this this the spot right here so gotta go in there and grab that I ain't even gonna show all that cuz I don't know my guys too camera friendly in there like the other staff but my boy Jew is you know Jew, Jew certified so you know he is but look at the big rango yes sir you know that gotta be glass house but man your boy have eight today so i'm about to go in there and pick this up and we gonna go home and we gonna close the rest of this video i'm gonna tell y'all this is about everything look at this kid bro y'all know he cold with that damn i forgot with them little hoverboards you were on the hoverboard in the cold like i swear to god like in detroit you see the most craziest wildest stuff and it's insane but i don't know like i ain't gonna lie it's just crazy out here but man uh i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna see how we get back man and we, we gonna talk about the rest of the video all right y'all we just pulled up back to the crib so y'all didn't see let me turn the heat down y'all didn't see i done told y'all everything that was done to the car with the bbk throttle body is 85 millimeter i don't know if i told y'all air intake of the thermostat and you know what I'm saying? That's, that's pretty much it. And, uh, this car, like, if you get that same setup, you could run a stock SRT8 all day and beat them and stuff like that. But you gotta have a good custom tune because you can get a custom tune and it could be a bad one. So you gotta most likely and for sure do all your research on the tuner and uh and stuff like that. So I I, I do have a good tuner. And he is very well known in the Mopar community and everything like that. So he has had some records for like uh, fastest quarter mile and stuff like that. So he is a pretty good guy, pretty good tuner, man. He's very fast, remote, 
and everything. So basically, I paid for the tune. I got the tune like the next day, uh, very fast, cool guy. I plugged my Diablo up to my laptop and uh, pretty much is on from there. So I was racing SRT8 with the regular Diablo tune and I ain't gonna lie, I couldn't really feel the difference between the Diablo tune and the custom tune, but it was like a little difference with the custom tune, but I know it. I, I felt a little bit different because I'm so used to having a, 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 a tuned car. So, I mean, I knew I couldn't get way more much power. Like, I was probably gain maybe like 5 to 10 horsepower or something like that. But I knew I wanted for the game a big crazy difference because I was already tuned. I already had felt how a car would feel like the baseline tune type. So, uh, but most likely, if I would have had the car stock, stock tune, I would have got the custom tune from then, the car would have felt like crazy. But I'm so used to the car, just how it's been performing stock. I mean, how it's been performing tune. I keep saying stock because I'm just thrilled of me actually letting y'all know my car was not stock, man. So, I'm glad it's been a long journey, but man, I really feel like I have outgrown the 300. And uh, I'm sure y'all probably do too. So, man, I'm already putting stuff in motion so maybe at the end of the year i'm mean, not at the end of the year is obviously the end of the year but at the end of the winter maybe or like springtime i hopefully i have a new car but it's gonna be most for certain i mean most certain that i have a new car before the summer start or right before the summer start or somewhere around there but man that car i had it for a year and a half or a year and six months and i feel like i really did everything i can do with it and uh I don't know. We're gonna try to push that, push this out these couple more months, man. Then I don't know. We gonna see, man. So I don't know. I guess we are gonna wait until then and see what the hell is going on. And anyways, I'm eBay shot it. Y'all finally got them real mileage, man. And and uh, I'm out of here. Yeah, I got the. I ain't gonna lie. Before I leave, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all probably already clicked out the video and everything, but y'all gotta go. Down there, subscribe if you like the content. If you got a 300 like mines, 57 Hemi V6 SRT8, don't even matter. If you got a 300 like mines, you know what I'm saying. You like the content, you like everything about the channel, man. You gotta, you gotta hit the subscribe, hit the like, and everything. I do be out here taking my time with these videos. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. So if you like the content, please leave a like. Go comment, go subscribe, just just join join the gang, man. I ain't gonna lie, you'll like it over here, man. We cool over here and anything like that. But like I said, we are now out of here. See y'all in the next freaking video. I ain't into the cap and let's keep it real. He could have held us man down, he took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live. I got the news from my sister, gave me chills. Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill. He popped his hands and I dog itching to do a drill.